Hello everyone, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Estate Numerologist. Welcome to your Leo New Moon Forecast on July 23rd. This is really the onset of the powerful Leo energy that we're going to be immersed in from now until really the big, big eclipse on August 21st because we have an eclipse on the Leo Aquarius axis on August 7th and then the big what's called the Great American Eclipse in Leo on August 21 and this new moon on July 23rd really ushers in that Leo energy which is so powerful it actually really started off in May of this year when the north node of the moon moved into Leo for the next year and a half that ushered in a big change where we're being asked to step up and step into our power step into our mission shine our light Leo's ruled by the Sun which is the bringer of light is the Sun is our star and so it is time for all of us to feel that energy inside of us that light that is yearning to shine and express the message of joy with with a lot of enthusiasm and in, a lot of exuberance so those are like keywords you want to take with you and they're really being stimulated now so this new moon happens on july 23rd uh, in london 10 45 a.m new york let's see 5 45 a.m in la 2 45 a.m so like I said, the North Node just moved into Leo recently, and the North Node is forming a powerful Grand Trine with two other planets, Saturn in Sagittarius and Uranus in Aries. Now, these are all fire signs, so this is a Grand Fire Trine that is being activated by this new moon in Leo and by the, the two eclipses coming up. So the opportunities are fantastic because a grand trine is very very fortunate it really comes at an amazing time because july in 2017 is a 17 universal month of immortality of eternity of leaving a legacy behind of abundance of leadership so this amazing grand trine happening during all this Leo energy is going to bring a lot of blessings it already is but these results that you're experiencing now these new exciting events that are coming to you now are going to be long lasting because of that number 17 influence that immortality eternal influence now the new moon happens at zero zero degrees in leo which is the zero point it's the onset of leo the alpha and omega really the god point zero is not a value it is hovering between the seen and the unseen so it's really an experience and it expresses a sense of timelessness of being in one dimension and another dimension at the same time so experiencing heaven and earth at once and so every sign rules a certain part of your body and Leo rules the heart so this new moon in Leo really penetrates the heart of your soul now Mars is conjunct the Sun and Moon during this new moon they're only one degree apart which you know Mars is the activator Mars is fire Mars is bringing even more of this incredible yearning to get in and act on your goals to really feel that influx of energy of Mars that ambition that strong direction and put things into action you know nothing gets accomplished without you stepping up and acting on it you can think about it all you want you can you know have these great intentions all you want you you can visualize all you want and all those are wonderful but then you need to act on all of those and Mars just wants to get things done so Mars being so close to the Sun and Moon during this new moon is going to basically say you know don't wait just step up you know Mars doesn't like to wait Mars, Mars is impatient so you want to watch you know overstepping like maybe being a bit rash at this time but at the same time you want to take this hot and fiery and creative intentional you know energy and start something fresh because 
Here's the thing. Mars is the ruler of Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, also a fire sign like Leo. So Mars brings that fresh new energy, just like the new moon brings new beginnings. So really set your intentions for what you want to start. Be open to new beginnings when they come into your life. Take note of them. Don't shy away from really listening and acting on those new opportunities that come into your life right now, whether it's new people, new projects, you know, out of the blue events. Now, out of the blue events will happen because the Mars, Sun, and Moon are square Uranus. And that brings a lot of excitement, unexpected developments. Uh, you're going to experience breakthroughs as a result of something that just suddenly appears in your life. Uh, like I said, it's it just uh, shows up, you know, without any <laughs> um, any any kind of you know previous knowledge. It's just going to be there at your doorstep and knock on your door, and you're going to be like, "Whoa, okay, <laughs> all right, let's get with it." You know, let's let's shift, let's take our energy to a new direction. And here's the other thing: there's six planets and fire signs too, so. You know, fire spreads fast. It wants to explore. And, you know, there's a sense of the wind coming up with the fire. Fire can create its own little windstorm. So we have the sun, of course, in Leo. That's a, the, you know, fire sign. The moon, of course, is in Leo. Mercury's also in Leo. Mars is in Leo. The north node is in Leo. And so that's already four planets in the north node. Then we have Saturn in Sagittarius another fire sign, and Uranus and Aries. So really powerful forward momentum here. Now Mars square Uranus is a transit we need to look at because it generates a lot of heat. And you may feel a little bit overheated or overstimulated. Or maybe if something is nagging you a little bit, you might get more easily upset, right? There's an impatient and impulsiveness with this transit. On the other hand, it's very creative. You've got Mars, the source of our origin, our original energy. You know, Mars rules the first sign, so it's about your impulse to just act on what comes into your head. You know, it's like a child that just does what he or she wants, that just goes for it and creates. This is the Mars energy, the innovation, imagination. And so this can also be a great transit to go implement, right? So whatever you imagine, whatever you visualize right now, go and, and manifest it. Walk your talk. Be bold. Be authentic. Be courageous. Take those risks. The new moon is also trying Chiron, which is so beautiful because it adds an element of softness, a healing sense, a shift of your perspective that brings new aha moments that allow you to mend energetically. So really, this creative process of the new moon in Leo, the sign of creativity, the sign of joy, of fun, of stepping up onto the stage, of playing with the universe, of romance, this is a time to create your magic. And there's something really else that's so exciting, and that's a juxtaposition of the astrology and numerology codes. Of course, we're, we have a Leo new moon, but it happens on the 23rd of July, which the ancients called the royal star, the lion number. And it represents the strength and courage of the lion with the new moon in Leo. So we have this, this, this light happening, this light of the stars that's really blessing us with an activation of our inner light. And then the full date of June, July 23rd, 2017 adds up to 22, which I call the architect of peace number. 22 is a master number. It's a doubling up of, of course, the two. And it really represents a balancing, a grounding of energy that we can use during this time to really take responsibility for those breakthroughs that are happening. Because 22 reduces to four, which is all about laying a foundation, manifesting, implementing your ideas, taking that creativity and making it real, stepping up as a leader. So it, it allows us to be, you know, to have that creative, fun, fun time, but also be responsible for what we're striving towards right now. So really, you have this amazing opportunity 
with the July code, the Leo New Moon code, the numerology code for the actual date, you know, this grand fire trine. I mean, there's just so much going on that's so positive, all powerful. If you feel overwhelmingly intense, you know, with that Mars energy and the Uranus square Mars energy, then just go and be creative. Act on the energy. Because when these creative energy surges happen like this, especially with Mars square Uranus, right, and we're not in a calm, balanced, serene place, we will create more drama, right? So we need to channel that energy in a very wise, beautiful, healing and healthy and uplifting way. Something that really is fun, enjoyable, and feels solid to you. So stand up, be that leader, be the person that that other people look to for inspiration. Inspiration really is one of the key words here. Inspiration, exuberance, joy, right? Take that light and get inspired and be the person who stands in that light and allows that flow of bounty to inspire everything that you do. Now, if you'd like to receive a weekly forecast that illustrates all the highlights of the week plus the theme of the week, absolutely free, just click on the link in this video. It'll take you to a page where you can register and it'll come up into your inbox every Sunday. So take advantage of all these productive changes happening with this amazing Leo new moon and stay tuned for the next couple of forecasts coming up on the two eclipses. This is game changing. This is huge. Uh, you definitely want to be informed about how the eclipses will be affecting you. So I'll see you for those forecasts soon. Meanwhile, have a wonderful Leo new moon.